Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Geo here for the first haul of the year 2020. What an interesting month of January. <laughs> Literally everything that you can imagine has happened. And it's only one month. So hopefully the rest of the year cools down a little, but you know, you gotta remain strong, right? So yeah, haul-wise, I didn't get a lot, but what I did get was actually pretty freaking cool, and I'm really excited to show it off for you guys. Uh, it's mostly anime and manga. Uh, the channel sort of evolved, I guess, uh, without me looking, uh, and I kind of did mention it on the last haul I did on the end of 2019, where I mentioned that I was taking the channel into a different direction. I'm still trying to figure out uh, the rhythm of said <laughs> direction, but for the most part, I don't really consider myself a manga tuber or an anti tuber, as people like to say online. I don't really consider myself like one of those um, collected editions channels. I'm just sort of stuck in between. I'm, I'm like that gum that binds everything together. An epoxy for our little niche. I don't know. Uh, but I am thankful that you guys are supporting this channel by liking and commenting and viewing the videos. It's it's awesome, and, and I love it so much. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, for now, I kind of like the rhythm where I'm going. Uh, I do a little bit of comic books, and I talk some anime, and I do occasional manga reviews. So, yeah. Maybe I could introduce some other elements, but we'll see, because it's mostly an entertainment channel, hence the name A Week in a Geekdom, sort of like the Geekdom world, a, a, a week's worth of information in one episode, something like that. That was the original intent of this um, show. So, with that strange introduction, welcome everybody to another installment. If you're new here, at the end of the month, I'd like to do a haul video on all the geeky stuff that I acquired. And if you want me to review any of these products, um, in this case, books and series, let me know in the comment section down below. And I will add it to my huge backlog of things that I need to review. I'm still working my way through lists of early 2019, so hang in there. You never know when videos drop when, uh, with your um, request and favorite title. I like doing that surprise unveiling of it. like hey here's um, a book review and next week like there's something else so stay tuned for that let's get it started i've been rambling uh manga let's do manga i got this as a three kings gift uh something i've been wanting to own forever i remember when these first came out i read them or at least a volume or two, way back when. It's been so long, but it's so awesome to have this. This is the Pokemon Adventures manga box set. This is the first uh, set uh, covering uh, Red's journey. And we have seven volumes right there with a mini poster. And yeah, really fun stuff. I, I am a huge Pokemon fan. I've been in love with that series ever since the first game came out. Uh, when I first got Pokemon Blue in 1997, after, it was a birthday gift, I do remember. Bulbasaur was my starter and I fell in love with the series ever since and I've played every game and I thoroughly enjoy all the additions, all the regions, all the Pokemon. They're all fascinating to me. I, I have such a fun time with this series. And to read this manga at my age now is a ton of fun, especially because it's, it's sort of its own thing. It adapts the game storyline into, uh, uh, you know, sort of this alternate reality, if you will. But yeah, the volumes inside look pretty cool. Let me uh, pull one out so you can see it. Standard manga volumes. And uh, the funny thing about this series is that as soon as I got this, I learned, of course, that we are getting uh, the three-in-one Omni editions that Viz likes to put put out. So, yay! <laughs> <laughs> but I'm okay. I, I, I like this box set and I will be continuing the series in this format So I will be getting the second box set eventually uh, But yeah, Pokemon Adventures. Next up uh, No longer human. This came out 
uh, December 2019, but it, it took me a while to get it. Here it is, Junji Ito's No Longer Human. It took me a little while, but I am going to post a, a video on this uh, real soon. Next up, you got Demon Slayer Volume 10. I don't know if you guys want to see like full artwork of the series, but you can probably check it out online. Here is uh, Dr. Stone Volume 9. Uh, My Hero Academia Vigilantes, number six. We're all caught up on this. I think volume seven. I don't know if volume seven's solicited, but that should be coming out this year. And my favorite read of 2019, uh, Beastars, volume four. Viz really needs to hurry up. <laughs> I mean, they, Japan just got volume 17, for Christ's sakes. And we're on volume four. Come on. I'll, I'll buy them all. Don't worry. Anime. Let's do anime Blu-rays. All right. I recently decided that... Um, well, I didn't decide it. Satoshi Khan has always been one of my all-time favorite movie directors. And I wanted to upgrade my DVD collection of his films to Blu-ray. And I started doing that. Uh, the last haul I showed off uh, Millennium Actress. And here I got uh, Paprika, which already came out a while ago. But I, didn't, I never picked it up because I had the DVD. But now I have the Blu-ray. Paprika. And where's the other one? This is pretty interesting. This came out a while ago, the Blu-ray. I do remember buying it and then, or pre-ordering it and then canceling it. Because I'm like, eh, I, I, I don't know. But then I was really interested because I saw how good this transfer looks and it, it sold out and people went nuts getting this. And I do remember seeing crazy prizes online on, on sites like eBay. Uh, stores uh, were sold out, but eventually we got a restock over the holidays and I was able to pick up a copy of Perfect Blue on Blu-ray. Uh, this will complete season two. Here we have Sailor Moon R or basically season two, part two. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. This is the second season box set. As you can see, we're gonna take this thing out. Take this box out. And this goes in here. So there you go. Now I have all of season two, part one and part two, or I guess I should say Sailor Moon R completed. Uh, something that I started collecting, I think it was 2018. I don't think it was 2019. Regardless, it's been a while. And I, the only reason I haven't gotten it is simply because of the price. Uh, it's a little bit too expensive, so I've slowly been getting them. And thanks to the holiday sale, I went ahead and picked up volume two of Durarara on Blu-ray. Uh, comes with a booklet, art cards, all that fun stuff. Here's volume two. And I picked up volume three as well. So I am halfway done with Durarara X2, I should say, sorry. So I have the first series and I'm halfway through the second uh, installment and can't wait to pick up the remaining three of that excellent series. So that, in a nutshell, is the anime manga haul. I did pick up one uh, comic uh, collected editions, uh, so I didn't leave you guys out, my uh, comic peeps. I got the 10th volume of the... A TMNT IDW hardcover collection, which a which has a fantastic cover. I love Krang, and this bodysuit just looks freaking fantastic. <laughs> uh, yeah, volume ten. I'm not sure if it counts, but digitally, I was able to get um, Luminese. I think that's how you say it for Switch. It was on sale fifty percent off, and I got um, the Tourist. So I can't really show them off because they're <laughs> digital games, but I got those uh, for the gaming portion of this haul. But yeah, that that's about it for the haul. Thank you guys uh, for tuning in. As always, uh, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for doing that. Hit the bell icon so you know when new videos pop up. And again, if you want me to talk about a specific item, uh, whether it be a Blu-ray or a manga, a comic, whatever, let me know in the comment section down below and I will get to it as soon as I'm able to. 
Thank you so much. I've got to go. I will catch all of you on our next video.